Hello there, hello there friends and welcome to yet another video and today we're gonna be reviewing this we're gonna be taking a look at this Mercedes-Benz CLS by Matchbox and just right there it says on the bottom side of there it is Matchbox Thailand 2005 Metal Incorporated MB63 1 by 65 scale Mercedes-Benz CLS 500 so this is the 500 cc so this is the 5000 cc model the 5 liter model of the Mercedes-Benz CLS and yep there it goes it's a maroon so it comes with a sunroof so you can take a look at the interior and the, the passenger of the car can take a look at the outside of the vehicle it's pretty neat <coughs> The windshield is clear, and the side view mirror mirrors are molded. And here's the thing: like whenever I take a look at a CLS model, uh, I do know that the rear of the car is actually there's actually a center console at the rear of the car. I wonder if this thing has that, so I have to take a look at that. Oh man, I wonder if it got some. Let's take a look at it. If it gets some, then you're in luck. If it got some then you are not in luck at all so do you see it there you go you see the center console at the back there see the center console at the back there see the center console is completely illuminated and this is the thing this is definitely the thing um, Mercedes CLS only have like four seats it doesn't have like six five seats uh, the rear of the vehicle, there's actually a big center console in the vehicle at the back and it's extremely um, efficient, no, not efficient, it's very impractical for those who want to haul a lot of people, like five people, and well this thing you can only haul like four people. So yeah, when I first saw that in 2004, I was like, what, what's wrong with these Germans, you know? But hey, it's for style, fish purposes. And you know, a lot of people actually like the way that it looks because it has like a lot of comfort there at the back. So yeah, good for them, good for the millionaires that would like to preserve this. Like to, um, he's actually a fan of this thing. There you go. <coughs> so regarding the car itself. Um, there's the front of the vehicle, as you can see there, the, the Mercedes-Benz logo is clearly in, clearly illuminated, you can see there, there's the Mercedes-Benz logo, and the headlamps are all painted, and it falls like a real mold, which is really nice, and that's the side of the car, I don't know by it looking like a real Mercedes-Benz CLS, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, that's the, this is the rear of the vehicle. It does look like what a Mercedes CLS would look like though. Let's look at that. Painted rear lights, which is really nice. I wonder if there is something written on the... There you go, SMB683. Then the plate number says that. SMB683. And I wonder if there's like a number, plate number in the front as well. Let me take a look at it clearly here. Nope, there is no plate number, number plate, plate number up front. There's only you know, one in the rear. Side view mirrors is in maroon color, so everything is really dark. It's really difficult to, to you know, let me block the light a bit. Uh, it's really difficult for you to tell the detail in, in all this. How's that? Do you see any? Does that illuminate better? Does that illuminate the vehicle better? Because it was like so dark before and it's really tough for me to see anything. And on the other carriage of the vehicle, I forgot to say that, and uh, it's decently molded. There's like some lines over here, I don't know what these are for. I'm pretty sure it is a transmission. It is like one of those modern Mercedes bands, so we have like this complex transmission that's not meant to be taken out by any normal person. You need to go to a dealership in order to fix this thing. 
just in case it got broken just look at the swerve curvy design in the back there it looks like an Aston Martin it's a pretty sexy car definitely a uh, sports tourer it has like four seats quite a sexy vehicle and yeah I get this is um, kind of interesting but I think there's like some kind of tint applied on the windshield or maybe it's like due to the fact that the plastic is so old to the point that it's starting to create a bunch of weird stuff you can definitely see something shining on the hood over there the interior details as you can see if you are interested in that kind of stuff you can see the steering wheel um, the gear lever and the passenger seat looks pretty comfy and the console the center console and the gauge clusters and the rear seats it's a pretty comfy vehicle and only I got myself a Rolls Royce Phantom you know, to, you know, to, you know as a comparison with this Oops, I'm taking way too much time this review video, probably have to end it soon. So I think I've covered everything I, I like about this vehicle. And yeah, if you own like a CLS or, or CLS, one of the favorite Mercedes-Benz that you have, definitely get this one. I do believe that it's going to be a very great addition to your collection. You can put it on top of your dashboard and on top of your Mercedes-Benz dashboard and it looks pretty neat. It has the interior and everything and the sunroof is really a nice addition to begin with to be honest i would definitely recommend this thanks for watching and i'll see you again next time with another review peace